But Paul, to that point, I wanted to bring up some kind of like old school internet history here. Yeah, well, you're the expert. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is some very old school internet history that there was. So we think of streaming and streaming services right now in terms of like Netflix and Amazon Prime and, and Hulu and whatever. Yeah. And, you know, all this content going on. But in 2001, there wasn't really streaming that we think of now. There was streaming in terms of like real player and real player was this very <laughs> low rent. I mean, it, it oh. never worked for fucking anybody as far as I'm Bad. aware. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can swear on here or not. Um, yeah, that's fine. Depends who you're sitting next Keep it down. Oh, no, you're not on the plane. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, so real player, real player never worked for anybody. But there was, <laughs> as, as far as I know, one of the earliest streaming concepts was this weird internet website and it was called uh, so it was it, it was this dude who had a disability that uh, that affected his feet <laughs> and he had this website what? called no he, he had this website called cutmyfeetoff.com what are we oh. doing <laughs> this is a this is a real website you could and, oh. and he had this he had this goal of raising a a certain amount of money to uh, build a guillotine in his backyard to cut his feet off because something <clears throat> something happened with like it was he was he basically couldn't live his entire his whole life would just be in like chronic pain and so he raised money to build a guillotine in his backyard and he was going to stream it on the internet to cut his feet off somehow they would not let him do this you know but well, this is one of, right. So this was this was maybe a couple years even beforehand, like 1998 or so. But this is the kind of like streaming anything on the internet at that time live was such a rare, weird, obscure thing to do that like it would be like one person once a year was doing something. And so for this to mm -hmm. this would be a huge fucking deal in 2001 for a like the biggest rock star in the world's retiring B he's going to be streaming something on the internet and C it's like this kind of obscure technology that's going to happen it would have been a gigantic gigantic thing going on Well look I mean Slade paid over 4 million dollars in taxes uh, last year so obviously, True. if that's the case, he's got some hey, money in the bank. That bit is one of my favorite parts of the movie, by the <laughs> yeah, way. That's a good bit. It's a good bit. We'll, I'm not even kidding. We'll get there. But uh, <laughs> right now, Slade is holding everyone hostage. 